it would not be fair to ignore it would not be fair to ignore the uh, certain types of blood vessels which we have not spoken of already we spoke a lot about arteries and veins and big arteries and big veins and little arteries and little veins and arterioles but what we have ignored are the two endpoints of the vascular system namely the largest uh, blood vessel of the body called the heart and the smallest blood vessels of the body which are called capillaries and whereas the heart follows the classical pattern of inner lining, middle lining, outer lining. With the blood vessels, we call this uh, intima, media, and adventitia. In the heart, it's called endocardium, myocardium, pericardium. And uh, specifically, this is not just pericardium, but it's the part of the pericardium which is adherent to the heart itself or the visceral pericardium as composed of the more fibrous uh, parietal pericardium, which is the bag, the fibrous bag in which this heart sits. But let's look at the three layers again. The uh, heart, even though it's the largest blood vessel, once again would boil down to a single endothelial cell lining along its... Uh, endocardial surface and here's the connective tissue of the endocardium and you can see these tiny whoops you can see these tiny little cells towards the outside right along the luminal surface which are your single endothelial cells so whether you are in a capillary or whether you in a heart the entire vascular system is lined by these flat endothelial cells the rest of this connective tissue is the rest of the endocardium. 99.9% .9 of the weight of the heart is the muscle itself or the myocardium which is classical cardiac muscle but uh, and it also has some connective tissue in between at various levels. Uh, you could see uh, arteries within it, you could see veins within it but uh, the heart is also a or the myocardium is also a very excellent place to see capillaries as well. So whenever you are looking at individual uh, myocardium and you see these little streams of red cells in individual lines like here, like here, perhaps even here, and certainly over here, and probably over here. These are individual capillaries, which are nothing more than endothelial line spaces. They don't have a muscular layer and they don't have an adventitial layer. It's a single endothelial cell. But here we are now in the middle of the myocardium uh, in which we could see the striated but uh, interwovenly connected uh, muscle cells with central nuclei. We've already seen the uh, endocardial aspect so let's look at the outer aspect, which would correspond to the adventitia, if this was a blood vessel, but because we are in the heart, it is called the pericardium, or more specifically, the visceral pericardium. And like uh, adventitia, once again, it is very, very, very loose connective tissue and largely fat, and in addition, the very large arteries of the heart travel within this loose connective tissue layer. All of the major arteries of the heart travel in pericardial fat. So uh, that's really all I want to say for cardiac muscle, uh, which is the myocardium of the heart, and the epicardium or visceral pericardium would be considered to be the adventitia of the heart. And last but not least, this little layer of connective tissue here towards the lumen of the heart, which can differentiate into heart valves, is the um, endocardium of the heart. And I thank you very much.